Good morning, my soul tribe, my family. Hi, my lovies. Come on in. Welcome to your daily message. Thank you guys for your love and support. Your like, shares, and subscribe. And all you do for our channel. I appreciate you guys booking your personal readings with me. Um, if you're waiting for your reading, just be patient with me. I am getting to them. I'm almost done everything. I thank you guys for your love and support and your patience. Let's go ahead and dive in, Virgo. We're going to start with some Oracle cards for you. I do have a download for you, my love. But we're going to set the tone, baby. Happy Friday. I'm on that early morning grind for you. All right. So I hope you guys are feeling well today. You're feeling blessed, operating in your highest frequency. Sending you love, light, and positive energy as always. So let's go ahead and dive in and look what the first card is that turned over. It says healing, return to wholeness, transformation. So some of you are really purifying yourself from a lot of things that has been lingering for whatever this is that's making you feel like, oh my God, I just need a break. I need a release. I need to just step away, okay? And it's okay to detach for a while, work on yourself, recharge your energy. A lot of you are social introverts. We all charge up when we're alone and spending time with ourselves, with spirit. We like to do our spiritual thing or whatever the case may be and the privacy of our own company and our own energy. Nothing feels better than to be surrounded by your own energy and just being able to really feel and slow things down, kill that external noise and just listen to the inner man, listen to the divine. So I do get it, Virgo, and this is beautiful energy for you to be in. Let's go, okay? I like how it's starting. All right, so let's see what else. <clears throat> Look, we needed to start off cleansing the energy after that crazy reading last night. Y'all check that reading out from last night. Oh my God, so much stuff came out. You know how it is when we get those cards for those of you who are my A1 Day Ones and you watch me often. It's always a good time, but whoo, those cards mm, bring out some things, some information that people weren't expecting. All right, so we have the sweet waters here, sensuality, romance, enjoyment, and fertility, balance. So some of you guys could be feeling in this balanced energy. Shout out to my little Virgos that are preggers. Congratulations, my loves. Okay, you're going to have a restful, comfy winter, eating good and feeling comfortable, and then a dag on hot, hot summer. Okay, you're going to have a hot girl summer for real. So <laughs> congratulations, my loves. But um, this is talking about your sensuality. Somebody is very much balanced when they're in their emotions, practicing um, balancing their feminine energy. Somebody is feeling really sensual, very loving and easygoing. This is for my males too, just letting things flow. You feeling in alignment with the universe, okay? You feeling good, all right? You feeling like you're ahead of the game and you got some things under control, all right? Um, and then Spirit has a question for you. What the wellspring. So it's time for you to get something um, for yourself or do something for yourself. This is saying, what are you thirsty for? Body care. Take a breath. Okay. So this is encouraging you to take care of yourself. Self-preservation is love. All right. And spirit wants you to also open your heart and let love in. All right. So this is the mother of the salt waters card. And it's talking about passion, wild love, and opening your heart. Talking about you balancing um, the emotions that you feel about the past, things that are connecting you to the past, past feelings, past experiences, things that may have happened to you that kind of changed the way that you look at love and people, all right? So spirit definitely is saying it's time to detoxify yourself, cleanse your energy from those things. Um, and like I said, somebody is releasing a lot of you are releasing people and things that no longer serve you. You're looking at your phone, deleting old numbers, deleting messages you've been holding on to. All of that is energy, residue. So you're cleansing and clearing the residue and you're just trying to focus on you and your path. And that's what you're supposed to do, okay? But I see you guys um, kind of in this kumbaya type of energy, just like very relaxed and feeling very blessed. The spirit is around you. The positive energies are all around you. So I do see this. And this is very refreshing because the download that I got is about somebody who is lingering. All right. And I feel like this is somebody who really does study you. Whoever this is, um, this is somebody who is thriving because of your energy. Because if it wasn't for your energy and this person 
watching you copying maybe using your ideas i really feel like this is some type of work situation but we're going to get into it i'm gonna let the card speak um embrace the flow of life and honor your feelings so a lot of you are laser focused on yourself right now and that's the best thing it's not that you don't care about people it's not that you aren't honoring people's needs and things around you but you are definitely shifting that focus onto yourself because you know that that's the only way you can really bring in the things that you want some of you are serious about your all of you are serious about your manifestations but you are more serious about cleansing your energy from these people who don't serve you and blocking out the people who try to tap into your energy drain your energy or get a rise out of you or reaction out of you so to speak so let's see what's going on here but there's a strong energy of you honoring your feelings taking care of yourself going ahead and taking that step back if that's what you need taking a break for you okay because inevitably you come first if you conk out then what right so this is what I'm getting for you. And this is where spirit wants you to shift your focus and make sure that you're making these things happen. All right. And the fact that they're being highlighted is saying that you a are far away from this or B you're doing this. All right. So let's see, let's get into your reading and see what else is going on here. There's a situation that you may need to assess, pay close attention to detail, listen clearly, listen closely and use your intuition. All right. Um, I also feel like this could have something to do with work or someone who's around you. Somebody is talking to you. It's like they're, I don't know if they're giving you messages, sending you IM messages, but there's someone talking to you about some things that, or talking, it's something about talking. Let's see what's going on. Show me the surrounding energy for my Virgo spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guys, thank you for blessing us going in, blessing us coming out, giving us a hedge of protection around us and our family. Thank you for blessing everybody who is listening to my voice and continuing to let us walk in our wealthy place, bringing prosperity, love, balance, patience, and light to us and wisdom to work through these situations that may be arising around us. Thank you for victory in every situation, healing in our hearts, minds, bodies, souls, and spirits. And the peace that passes all understanding. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for helping somebody less fortunate, too. Let's see. Some type of confusion. Maybe you're not paying attention to something. I feel like somebody is trying to create some type of illusion. There's definitely some type of decision that needs to be made surrounding this. And some type of message. All right, something having to do with information. I know I felt somebody talking to you, and it's a need for you to assess the details. That's what your card was telling you. Assess the details that was underneath the bottom of the deck. It's funny. Look what's on the top. Trust that all will be well. So everything that is supposed to work in your favor will, and you're going to get some things that you didn't expect to work in your favor to work in your favor. So, but what I'm getting is there's some type of illusion and it seems like it has something to do with the message, something that could have possibly been said um, about you. Um, I feel like there's somebody who is in this toxic energy and this person is very spiteful and vindictive and they don't do anything to win. Um, I feel like this person is struggling. Okay, somebody is struggling around you. They're very toxic and they could be feeling very rejected. All right. When it comes to forming a solid foundation. So I feel like these people, this person, whoever it is, it's like they need you in some way. Either they need you to point you out as the villain and they feel like this is going to make them elevate or them trying to outshine you and try to seem so much better than you is only going to make them look more like a failure. And not only that, the divine is going to balance the energy and they're just creating a harder hit for themselves. Like this tower moment that's going to fall from their illusions and them pretending to be something that they're not is going to bring them down. This is going to make them fail. And I don't know why I'm getting like, watch your paperwork or something like that. Your spiritual guides are in the building. This is at the bottom of the deck, okay? And they're protecting your harvest, all right? They're protecting your harvest. Everything that you built, everything that you work for, everything that you put your blood, sweat, and tears in. They're definitely protecting this for you, all right? So don't worry. The situation will unfold naturally, but it will also work in your favor. Sometimes things happen to push us out of our comfort zone and push you into action, 
right? So if this is a situation where you're holding back and you're not really expressing yourself or something is happening to you and you're not saying anything, sometimes spirit rocks the foundation. But there's somebody that is toxic. And this person is not a great person, but they pretend to be very well. <sighs> Here we go with the shenanigans, all right? Happy Friday, guys. Let's see. <laughs> For Virgo, what does Virgo need to know about this situation? Because I'm getting that it's some type of decision that you need to make as far as your structure and your solid foundation. Some of you are thinking about leaving a job because of the confusion, because of the gossip or somebody sending messages or it's something about your communication. I feel like somebody is also spying on you, like reading your IM messages. So whatever this is that you're writing or you're Record it could be um you having voice records or recorded calls or something like that. So for those of you who work in a call center or somewhere where they can listen to your calls, I feel like somebody is listening to your calls or listening to the things you say, listening to your information or reading your information. Something about your communication. And this person is feeling rejected. Show me clear messages for Virgo spirit about this. Why is this on the board? Let's clarify this. <clears throat> so your guys are here. Let's see. I'm going to put these under the bottom. <clears throat> Show me forming a solid foundation for Virgo. Why is this here? Did I shuffle? Let me shuffle one more. Tell me, show me quiet. So, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody is feeling amazing. Talk to me in the comments about how this resonates. Remember, these are very general messages, okay? So, not everything may resonate with you. If you're thinking about booking your reading, you can book it at closer, the number two, mydestiny.com. The readings are on sale until January, I mean, until December 31st, guys, okay? So, let's get into it. And make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe. If you're rocking with your girl, our family is growing. And there will be a 30K giveaway. We're almost at 30K, baby. Let's go, okay? Show me forming a solid foundation for Virgo. Hey, my lovelies. So, we have a Knight of Wands type energy. All right? So, this could be somebody that you walked away from, distanced yourself from. There could be a Sagittarius that is keeping a close eye on you. Um, Virgo, I see you at the bottom of the deck, okay, making a judgment on something or somebody. Somebody could have some very scattered energy also. <clears throat> yeah, I see you at the bottom of the deck. We're going to find out how you're feeling. Hold on, let's see. So tell me more about forming a solid foundation. You could be dealing with the fire sign. And there could be somebody just with scattered energy in and out type energy um this person could this person is um determined i know that but let's see show me more yeah some type of betrayal here so this is what i felt and this could be a male or female energy but somebody is it's like a betrayal so somebody did stab you in the back the good part about this is this is the end of a cycle um this is going to bring healing and a fresh start for you but somebody definitely was doing something regarding communication, definitely stealing, backstabbing you, betraying you in some type of way. Um, it could be the messages that they sent or gossip that they've been spreading about you. But whatever this is, it was a betrayal here. And this could be somebody that you didn't even really know. Yeah, the temperance card. Tell me this one. What's your angels bringing balance when it comes to your solid foundation? Wow. The Hierophant. This is traditional beliefs and teaching. Yeah. So I feel like God is definitely stepping in when it comes to this red, this, this, I was going to say this red eye. Somebody could have red eyes this morning, not like double eyes, but I don't know if you saw red eyes or your eyes are red, like not your, not your pupils, but like, I don't know, something about red eyes, catching a red eye. I have no idea. Y'all tell me in the comments if that resonates, but I don't know why that came about, but somebody could be dealing with this air sign 
or somebody that is reckless regarding communication. Somebody also is watching you, spying on you, reading your messages. I'm, I'm getting like, if you share a phone plan with somebody, if somebody is over you or a manager or whatever you um, record or whatever you type, like your messages are open for the public to read. Somebody is reading your messages and like betraying you. I feel like somebody could be twisting your words around some type of slander something like that but i see spirit and your angels here standing in standing in the gap for you i feel like it's your divine protection protecting your happiness and your positive energy i feel like also they're illuminating something to you so it's like you're being shown something and for a lot of you you're feeling you're feeling happy and you're standing your ground it's good news um regarding whatever circumstance this is and it definitely could have something to do with money because somebody is burdened here. And I feel like right now you could be capitalizing. You could be doing really well in whatever it is you're doing. And somebody is not liking that. It's like somebody is very spiteful and vindictive. It's like they'll do whatever it takes to win. Even if it means knocking you out of the way. So they can't, number one. And number two, they're stressed out trying. Somebody is really exhausting themselves. Trying to beat you at a game where God already rigged it so you could win. It's like God already set this game so you could win. It's like a fixed fight. You're going to win, right? And no matter what they do, they're going to keep falling because of the way that they're trying to get on top. That's crazy. Show me decisions that need to be made for Virgo. What's decision? It's like a fixed fight and you already won. Ending for a new beginning. All right. Somebody could be dealing with this King of Cups and you need to make a decision. Somebody could be very spiritually wise, very emotionally balanced. And I feel like you're deciding somebody needs to make a decision whether or not you're going to go through with this relationship or this situation or end it. But the world card is good news. It usually is talking about a successful completion of a cycle. So I feel like whatever decision that you make, show me the world. Nine of Swords and the Emperor. Somebody is thinking about ending a situation or needing to end a situation with. It's like, so it's the end. Somebody is closing a cycle and you're doing the right thing, what makes you happy or what you know to be right spiritually. So it's like somebody is spiritually wise and you love, somebody here loves God. And you are not perfect, but you want to do the right thing. Somebody has this humanitarian type energy, like world peace type energy. I'm not even going to lie. And somebody really wants to do the right thing. It's like, you just want to do the things right so your karma can be balanced. So you feel like it's only right to end this relationship. Also, I'm getting that somebody is watching you, trying to create stress for you and trying to create an ending. Um, and it could be your boss. It could be your boss that is trying to create some type of ending or anything like that. Or this person thinks that they're a boss or they think they're your boss. Or this is just somebody who is married. This could also be a business owner. Somebody could be trying to shadow your business or like copy, take your prospects, take your, take your people or something like that. But it's something really shady going on. But there's going to be positive movement forward for you. I feel like this emperor energy could also represent you taking charge, taking control, standing in your power. Somebody could even be getting um, good news regarding their business. Your business is picking up. I feel like because you're bold, you're brave, and you're stepping up. Yeah, because I feel like it's an end to whatever this is that you were worried about and stressing about. Somebody tried to keep you in the energy of stressing. Yeah, divine assistance and spirit guides are here helping you with some knight of pentacles in reverse. So this could be somebody who is just having poor judgment, unreliable. Whatever this is, this person is not operating in their highest frequency. Show me this knight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, use your intuition. Because it's like an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo that is shady. It's like this person is not in their power. So that means they're everything op opposite. Meaning they could be rude, disrespectful, hiding who they really are, unreliable, insincere, all of those things. And your spirit guides are protecting you from this person. 
somebody who's not a good leader and you can't count on them. Whoever this is, it's like they're in your energy feeling rejected or trying to create some type of loss for you and it's going to backfire. Somebody here is standing their ground. Doesn't have to be a female, but Queen of Swords energy knows their worth and they're being very direct when it comes to what they stand for, what they won't tolerate or whatever the case may be. And they do have that sort of truth. They're not afraid to tear you a new one. Okay, they will let you know. And the truth hurts. So this is somebody that will read you, gather you together really nice. All right. And let you know, you know, state the law, lay down the law. So this is the energy that you're in, Virgo. Show me confusion and illusion. Somebody create an illusion. Yeah. Somebody's looking at somebody out of rose colored glasses. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your intuition. Trust your intuition when it's telling you about this Taurus. This fire sign, whoever this is. Yeah. So somebody could be sad. I feel like somebody is sad. You're leaving this person, whoever this is, trying to challenge you. Every time they come up against you, they fail. It's like they keep failing. And it's they're failing because they're really underhanded and really shysty, whoever this is. And I feel like this water sign, whoever this is, is sad. Somebody is not happy and it's because they're losing their stability. Somebody could be losing money at a fast rate or something like that. Somebody took a huge loss and they're trying to look at you or blame it on you or come for you because you're doing well. So it's like this person tries to cut you off every time. And this could be another earth sign. It could be somebody who is a high priestess, somebody who is, I don't know, this person could also um, be very intuitive. It could be a Pisces. Show me Mercury messages. What's this communication? A judgment's being made by the divine. <laughs> You're the star. Yes, things are turning in your favor. Boom. Okay, things are turning in your favor. You're the star. And these messages, whatever happens, whatever this communication is, you're going to capitalize off of it. It's like they're thinking that they can stop you, but all they're doing is pushing you ahead. Because the more they highlight that they're the villain and you're not, the more God blesses you. It's like the way they try to step on your neck or copy off of your work or cut you off, whatever they're doing. It's like, and if somebody is bringing ideas to the office and presenting your ideas, somebody is copying off of your ideas. It's like whatever you do, they're picking pieces from it and trying to make it seem better the way they do it. And they really are drowning. All right. And this person is going to starve without your energy. So this is what your divine is doing right now. Finding ways to block this person. All right. So you can see somebody working extra hard or really struggling, trying to keep up with you. And they're failing. Is they're drowning in their own sugar, honey, iced tea, to be honest. Show me toxicity and bound patterns. Yeah. This person could be trying to send you all kinds of messages, love messages, or be fake nice to keep you trapped and stuck. Somebody is trying to do spells. If somebody does spell work, they're doing spells to keep you stuck. Yeah, and we bind it by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not going to work. <laughs> they feel very rejected, and they feel like they're taking a major loss. It's when it comes to people giving them an equal give and take or people talking with them or something like that. This person is so spiteful. It's like everything that they're doing, they're getting the karma, right? For spying on you, stealing, sneaking. This person is toxic, okay? And spirit sees them. Everything that you don't see, God sees. And this person is getting taken care of. Trust me. This person is struggling. Look, at work, stealing your ideas. what I tell you? You see that? Okay? They're struggling. They're struggling. Just be strong. Continue to be strong, Virgo. Just continue to be strong. What does Virgo need to do for their highest good spirit? What's happening for Virgo's highest good? What action? Huh? Move away. Just, just let things flow. Move away from arguing. Move away from being like they are. Don't turn into what these people are. You continue to walk straight, walk upright, and continue to do your work, and your wish will be granted under the bottom of the deck. All right? God got you. Let's get you an um let's get your other message so we can close out your reading. Whew. Spirit, what message do you have for my Virgo today? What message for Virgo today?
Okay, I could be talking to my divine masculine. All right, so you're a source of light, Virgo. Don't forget that. I just saw that card. Let's go through these real quick. It says the little things. Find the little things in your everyday life that make you happy. And one day you'll realize that they're the big things. Then divine masculine, there's excessive masculine energy that needs to be balanced in order to feel harmonious within. Take a step back and find a more feminine approach. It says liberate yourself. You don't have to carry your burdens alone. Have the courage to ask and accept help. The path to inner peace. If you are not at peace with yourself, nothing you attract will bring you peace. Check your vibe. All right, so make sure you're at peace with yourself. Make sure you're happy with yourself. Make sure you're content with the things that you're doing. All right, and then become a source of light. It says you're a natural healer born to bring through a new healing method to whoever, to whatever area you choose to work in. So no matter what you do, you're a natural healer. So just remember who you are. Remember that you're powerful. Remember that things come to you effortlessly. This person is going to be overworking themselves or these people are going to be overworking themselves for a gift that God already gave you. So walk in your gift, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you watching your videos all the way through and loving and supporting our channel. Likes and subscribes. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I appreciate you guys so much. Let me get back to these personal readings. If you want to book one, book it at closer to number two, my destiny.com. I will see you guys later. Bye, loveys.